Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Byron Twilley from Pure Oils Natural Health, and I would love to share some of my summer essentials, essential oil tips with you guys. So welcome everybody to the class. Um, this is just a short 30 minute class. And um, if you're watching this back later, that is totally cool. Please feel free to reach out and ask any questions. Um, I will share as much as I can in this presentation and also in the, uh, the comments or um, uh, for the link that I'll be sharing for this recorded presentation. So um, why did doTERRA choose us? Well, doTERRA didn't choose us. We chose doTERRA. Uh, we were introduced to peppermint and that's where it all started. Renee was suffering from digestive health concerns um, and when we were introduced to peppermint and we started, when Renee started taking that internally, we experienced some profound benefits uh, and you know, we'd been through just about every option that you could think of, endoscopies, colonoscopies, herbs, um, you know, Chinese medicine, allopathic methods and you know, um, you know, various other traditional Therapies and none of none of it worked until we uh, came into contact with peppermint and Renee started using that And then for me, I wasn't the picture of health um, I considered myself to be pretty healthy a lot of Working out at the gym and surfing and soccer and running and there was a lot of action not much rest um, and I actually really started to struggle with stress anxiety and insomnia I struggled to sleep at night and um, it was through doTERRA and using calming oils and learning mindful practices that I found the space to actually rest my mind to make emotional choices. So I'm forever thankful for doTERRA for inviting me to those things. And some other things that we hold dear to our heart is uh, the doTERRA difference. So doTERRA has uh, this co-impact sourcing model where they source essential oils from around the world. You know, they don't go, they don't own any farms. They work cooperatively with farmers and, and two thirds of these farmers are from developing countries. So you know, third world countries, communities in need. And uh, doTERRA also has another um, philosophy or a model that they follow uh, called healing hands and this is where they work with these local communities to, to provide micro loans um, and you know, re relief in a uh, in situations like um, the earthquakes in Peru um, uh, and uh, in various situations I don't think it was Peru I'm just um, double <laughs> double guessing myself here and the poll sorry not Peru but no, the whole core of the message is that doTERRA aren't just here to make money from essential oils. They are the biggest essential oil company in the world, and that's because they provide an amazing product. But they also are and have become a humanitarian company because they're making such a big global impact, good heart work for the world what exactly what the world needs so it's just an absolute pleasure to be a part of that movement so there's three main methods of use for doTERRA um, aromatic topical and internal so my preferred two methods are topical and internal um, I do get the aromatic benefits when I use them topically uh, but I don't really tend to use a diffuser too much. Um, I'm, I'm more just a, you know, on the go, slap dash, whack it on, put it in the mouth and go kind of guy. But for those who prefer a diffuser, there are profound benefits in using them aromatically. You know, it's, they're linked to our, uh, our olfactory system, which controls or influences our emotions. So when we smell essential oils, they can, either lift us up in the case of citrus and mints or they can keep us ground in the way of you know roots bark um, a, a trees etc and then they can also open us up in the way of flowers as you can see the geranium flower here which is great for self-love uh, and aphrodisiacs as well but um, 
today, what I wanted to focus on is our outdoor products. So when you think summer and you think outdoors, you're probably thinking uh, you know, hiking, going camping, um, jumping on your mountain bike, going on your road bike, playing golf, um, surfing for me and running. Um, and you want some oils that are going to support you in these outdoor activities you know, to keep away the pesky bugs and um, keep your muscles uh, nice and pain free so you can continue to enjoy your summer. So some very uh, common oils and products that I use during these summer months include the Ice Blue Rub um, along with the Ice Blue Blend. And the reason why I use these two in combination is because the Ice Blue Rub is is really cooling at first, but then it also heats and warms our muscles and, and really alleviates any pain long-term that we have in our muscles. So if you're going for a run or a ride or a hike and you've got really sore calves is usually where I get done. Um, I just put a squirt of the ice blue along with a couple of drops of the ice blue blend together. And you can also add frankincense. Copaiba is also another good one to add. And lemongrass as well is really good for sore and tired muscles and joints. Um, some other products that I really love during uh, the outdoor season in summer include the very handy Terra Armor Spray. Now you can get this in a 15 mil uh, bottle like you know we have our peppermint here. Um, we tend to go for convenience <laughs> um, and we just get this 30 mil spray and we spray that on and we're in an area where there's a lot of rain, a lot of water at the moment and there's heaps of mosquitoes. So by spraying this onto our skin, rubbing it in, uh, it's amazing how effective it is. I actually took this to uh, a little men's group that we do on a Saturday and um, people all applied and they asked me, you know, does this actually work? And I said, well, just apply it and see how you go. Like, see if you get bitten, right? Um, so we did that and men are probably the harder of the two genders to convert, but they all agreed that this Terra Armor spray works. So, pitching, winning there. Um, other things that I love for the outdoors is lemon, lavender, and peppermint for hay fever relief. So, just putting a drop of each of these three oils in an empty glass and then putting 50 to 100 mils of water in that glass and then gargle, swish, swallow. This is the best natural antihistamine that you are going to use. As well, peppermint, I love before a workout, a run, a surf, or even just speaking publicly or, or meeting up with someone and freshens your breath, invigorates the mind, opens the airways as well. This is a little trade secret from the Brisbane Broncos before a game is to put a drop of peppermint on the top of their tongue or the, underneath their tongue and there was a little bit of a controversy around this. Uh, you can check out the Fox News article, do a Google search and you'll find that article is pretty cool. Um, another thing, sorry, I'll just go back to here, uh, that I love to use in summer and all year round to get those pearly whites nice and shiny and also boost the immune system is the On Guard uh, Whitening Toothpaste. Um, so this is a fluoride free toothpaste. Uh, d depending on, on what you believe in, um, I believe that fluoride isn't something we should be putting into and onto our bodies. Um, so for me, the fluoride toothpaste is a big green tick. I love it, use it every night, and um, I find that it works really, really well. So get amongst that, give it a go, uh, add it to your card or your first order. So... Other things that you might want to do to support your active lifestyle is A, the Lifelong Vitality Pack. So the Lifelong Vitality Pack is something that you can take, obviously, year-round. But the whole purpose of this Lifelong Vitality Pack is to feel younger for longer. But what it's going to do is it's going to help with pain and inflammation it's going to give us more energy. It's going to make our skin 
look more healthy and vibrant. It's going to make our hair more healthy and vibrant, our nails, and you know, even our eyesight. It's going to make us feel better all round. And when we use the Lifelong Vitality Pack, guess what? The oils work better as well. As long as we drink plenty of water, get lots of rest, take our lifelong vitality and you know, just do what we all know is the right uh, kind of diet. You know, best, best effort whole foods diet. Some other things that you can do and other products that there are is Mono2 Max. So this is a supplement uh, that is all about boosting energy. It's, it's really similar to Alpha Serious, which is in lifelong vitality. And then we also have Smart and Sassy which is all about our metabolism. So regulating, boosting our metabolism and regulating blood sugar levels as well. So I've had people with blood sugar challenges use the Smart and Sassy and get fantastic results too. Um, so I highly recommend those products, the Lifelong Vitality, especially as number one. It is doTERRA's number one product. Um, I take it daily and since taking it daily, I have more energy. I don't get as sick and I look and feel more vibrant. Get amongst it. Um, I also highly recommend citrus in water. So I start every single day with lemon in my water. I get it a six to 700 mil glass bottle, just like this bad boy here, special guy from Hawaii. And I put five to six drops of lemon in there and fill that with good alkaline water. And that's the first thing that goes in my stomach before I go out and go for a surf or a run or some form of uh, physical activity with a drop of peppermint on the tongue and I'm out of here. Um, it gets the digestive system going. It's detoxifying. It's cleansing. It lifts our mood. It, it makes us feel awesome. And then throughout the day, I put wild orange and water in my water. And this is great for bringing down anxiety, boosting energy levels and helping with insomnia as well. So for me, that's a big tick. I'm loving the wild orange in my water. Um, so next, uh, you know, we're typically, we know we're, we're out in front of the barbecue. We're having a beer with our mates um, and we're chucking some some kebabs on the barbecue or whatever shrimp. Uh, yeah, we, we've also got some salad in there too. But there's loads of oils that you can use in cooking uh, through the summer period as well through winter as well. And some of those include I, that I prefer and like. I love the lemon with just you know a couple of drops in my olive oil before I chuck it on a salad. I um, also love rosemary and thyme. I like to put this on roasted vegetables. You can also just... Um, brush it on to some you know veggie kebabs as well which is really nice you can add some meat in there too if you prefer and i also love cilantro in my guacamole so just one or two drops once you've smashed up your avo i i put um, a sprinkle of a uh, cumin powder and um and garlic powder half a lemon and a drop or two of cilantro and mwah, you have got an amazing guacamole that you can enjoy with mates over a couple of chips and a beer. Um, so another common thing that we uh, come into over summer is keeping cool. Um, and peppermint is really good at cooling the body. So you know, in this case here, you can see there's a peppermint touch and a, a child's foot. The peppermint or the, the touch range is completely safe and ready to go for use on infants and children. And these are some oils that we regularly use on our kids and on ourselves, purely just for convenience. You just take the lids off, crack them open, roll it on, back of the neck, underneath the feet, and you're good to go. Um, I prefer to put oils on the back of my, well, the peppermint touch on the back of my neck. If, you know, for instance, I'm out in the, in the heat, we actually dissipate and um, a lot of heat uh, is accumulated around the neck and the head. So if you know you might have a hot flush um, or you might just be hot um, out on the golf course, whacking a couple of balls and you need some relief, put some peppermint on the back of your neck and I guarantee you're going to feel cooler and you're, you'll be able to stay focused and enjoy the outdoors rather than just be complaining about the heat. 
So the next thing is we want to stay sun safe as well. So this is a little recipe here that uh, you can make up um, with Halecrisum essential oil. So Halecrisum essential oil or is, is commonly known as liquid stitches and it is just great for supporting our skin. And then of course we've got a decent amount of zinc oxide in there as well and a, a couple of other um, carriers and moisturizers that are really going to help protect our skin. So if you're looking for a natural um, sunscreen that's not going to be greasy, it's actually going to be nice to apply to your skin, um, then here's a great recipe uh, that, that we make up and we use and get great results from. Um, so if you have been out in the sun, perhaps, you know, the sun cream that you made up, you've just applied to yourself but not the rest of your body and you've been burnt. So this is a great cooling after sun spray. You can put 20 drops of lavender, peppermint, and optionally frankincense in a little spray bottle, like so. And then you fill the remainder with uh, either water or fractionated coconut oil. And you just spray that to the effective part of your body. Um, what you can also do if you don't want to make up a spray bottle, you don't have a spray bottle of which you can get from um, au.aromatools or au.oillife or um, aromabottles.com. Um, there's, there's plenty of places that you can get them, even eBay. But if you don't have that and you want to just slap and dash, like I tend to do, is just get your palm, put your, uh, your lavender in your palm and your frankincense, bloop, bloop, in there as well and of course we want to have our um, fractionated coconut oil which is right here and this needs to be purchased when you buy a kit of oils and that's because it allows you to use the essential oils topically and more effectively driving the essential oils into our tissues so we can benefit from them so we apply that in our palm and we just you know rub it on the affected area usually for me it's the back the neck and the shoulders that's why i did that so the next thing um that we have is you need to keep your hands clean right so we we use um wild orange or on guard so all of these or a lot of these oils are actually in our starter kit being the family essentials kit or the essential collection um, so as I go through that, just be mindful, essential collection or um, the home essentials if you want 15 mil bottles. Essential, the um, essential collection is five mil bottles. So you get the on guard in that kit and you can simply just drop a couple of drops into your palms. There's also a convenient spray as well that you can get uh, through your wholesale account when you get a kit. This is the most effective way to get your oils is through a wholesale account and getting your oils at wholesale prices. So this spray here, you can just spray onto your hands. There's a little bit of alcohol there for drying out um, any nasties and, and not making it a greasy um, uh, hand uh, sanitizer. So highly recommend getting your on guard hand sanitizer as well if that's something that you would like a natural version of so next uh, i'm just going to talk quickly about a couple of traveling must-haves now to combat any um, virus or bacteria obviously the on guard is a must but so is the uh, tea tree and an oregano so these are all in that kit um and that and Frankincense is also really good at boosting the immune system as well. So what I like to do if I'm feeling like I'm feeling a little bit of something coming on in my throat, I'll just get the on guard and I'll just put a drop on my tongue. Now that's not everyone's cup of tea. It might be a bit spicy. So if that's the case, what you can do is put a drop in an empty cup, put 50 mils to 100 mils of water in it, and then you gargle, swish and swallow, and you've combating the viral and bacterial uh, threats that are in your throat, but then you're also boosting your immune system as well by taking them internally. Um, so you can make up a roller blend with 
frankincense, on guard, oregano, and tea tree. You can do that. You can make up a roller yourself. What I recommend uh, is that you layer the oils. So for this, these four oils, of which we call the protocol because they can be used for so many things, um, I suggest putting two drops of each on the bottoms of your feet and layering them because it's going to be far more effective rather than just putting it in a roller ball and just rolling it. Roller balls are really convenient, but in this situation when you're combating um, you know, viral or bacterial threats, layering the oils and applying them to the bottoms of your feet is going to be the most effective way to get to the root cause of what is um, causing your, uh, you know, the, the health threat, which we don't want while we're on holidays, right? We want to be healthy all times. Um, so I did talk about the terror armor or the terror shield, um, both the same, same product terror armor we call it in Australia. Um, but I also wanted to tell you about a blend that I, have used with great success. If you have cedarwood and arborvitae, then these two, in my opinion, are the best bug or mozzie repellents that you can get. So once again, you can put it in a little spray bottle or you can put it in a roller bottle um, or you can just put it in a 15 mil bottle. If you've got cedarwood, a 15 mil cedarwood, then you can just top up your 15 mil cedarwood bottle with say like 15 to 20 drops of arborvitae and you've got a very powerful bug repellent. Um, so give that a go next time you're out in the, uh, the great outdoors. Now, for when you do get bitten, and sometimes, you know, the bugs are that bad, doesn't matter what you use, you're still going to get a bite or two. Or, you know, maybe you haven't got your terra armor on or your cedar wood and arbor vitae. So what we have found to be the best um, no Moichi Bug Bites recipe is basil, peppermint, lavender, and of course, the fractionated coconut oil. Now, you can just make up this little blend in your palm, or you can also you know, make up a roller bottle of, as well of that. If you're going to do a 10 mil roller bottle, then you'd use 20 drops of basil, 10 drops of peppermint, and 10 drops of lavender, and fill the remainder with fractionated coconut oil five mil bottle, we're just halving those amounts. Um, so that's fine to just apply that directly onto the site of the bite. So not only will the bugs repel you from you, but also your garden as well. So you can make up uh, some, some little essential oil garden bug sprays um, simply with the oils and water. And pretty much our go-to for this is peppermint. So we use peppermint in our house for repelling ants. Um, and you can just simply just get a spray bottle or, you know, just drop the peppermint onto the site where you don't want your ants. Um, or just make up a little spray and spray it onto areas where they're getting in. Um, you can also use... Um, if you've got aphids, peppermint and sandalwood, if you've got beetles, peppermint and thyme. Um, uh, if for uh, cutworm, you've got thyme. For fleas, and this is what we use on our dogs, is lavender and lemongrass. And we mix that in with our, the dog's shampoo when we wash our dogs. The lemongrass is also really good at eliminating odors and making them smell nice and fresh as well. So lavender and lemongrass, and that's gonna, we, our dogs don't get fleas, right? And we don't use any other things, unnatural, you know, flea pills or potions or anything like that. Um, it works, right? Um, so give, give those a go. Um, and once again, you know, lavender is also a great one at um, repelling mosquitoes and, uh, various other creepy crawlies and and same with patchouli as well and when you're using these these um these oils on our garden it's just a couple of drops in water and spraying it uh, where the bugs are uh, hanging around your your garden or your veggie patch so you if you'd like a, um, a summer recipe collection i can i can send you the link um, so I'm going to, I'm going to post it in this event, the recording for this event, 
and feel free to check that out. There's some great recipe ideas in there because I could go on all night and say these things, but it's so much better if you've got the book and the recipes in front of you. So I'm going to send that link. So you might be thinking, now what? I, you know, for people who uh, already have a wholesale account with doTERRA, you got it easy. All you need to do is just go onto your account, log in at mydoterra.com and browse for the products and get your oils. Now, the smartest or most intelligent way to get your oils is through a rewards order. So it's actually the only way to get your oils. Um, when I say the only way, it, you know, if you did it any other way, it just, you know, you're missing out on so much, so many free products and incentives. So uh, if you want to learn more about the Lord Rewards program, please reach out. For those who are just starting out, um, what you can do is you can jump onto our website, pureoils.com.au, and you can either click the join link or go to Essential Oils and you can check out some of the content there, learn a little bit more about the Essential Oils and, um, and check out the kits. Um, you can see Renee here is holding uh, the Essential Collection or the Family Essentials kit. And these are the oils that we've spoken about tonight. And um, they're all five mil. That's $174 for this kit. Or you can get the Home Essentials kit, which is 15 mil bottles. You get three times the amount of oils and you also get a diffuser. Now, this is our most popular and favorite kit. But our favorite kit for people to get started is the home essentials kit. Now, if the $330 is a little bit too expensive for you for this kit, then I suggest you look at the family essentials kit and yes, always add the fractionated coconut oil to that kit as well. Once again, please reach out if you have any questions or need assistance at all. I want to thank you so much for your time. Um, we've gone you know, just over half an hour as promised. And um, we have a, a great online support community uh, on Facebook. And we, uh, you know, please feel free to reach out to me at Byron at pureoils.com.au or give me a call 0468 894 I'm happy to help you with whatever your health requirements are and uh, any questions that you have with essential oils. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you next time. See ya.